Now in part B, we're told that the distance travelled is 526 metres. And the distance travelled is always represented as the area underneath the speed time graph. So in this example, what I'm going to do is just divide this up into sections. We'll have one down there, one down there, and one line down there. So we have three sections. I'll number these sections one, two, and three. All right. So therefore, the area of one plus two plus three must come to 526. And we've got to find V. So what I'm going to do is form an equation then saying that these areas add together to give 526. So taking the first shape, number one, clearly a rectangle, we know that the area of the rectangle will be 25 times 10, the length times the width. So 25 times 10, okay, so we'll just put that in there, 25 times 10, plus the area of shape 2. Now shape 2 is a trapezium and it does help if you know the area of a trapezium, how to find it. What you have to do is half the sum of the parallel sides times the distance between the parallel sides and these are the parallel sides so it's going to be half the sum of the parallel sides so that's that length plus this length. That length is clearly 25 units and then plus this length. Now this length is going to be V. So we put that in as V. And it's multiplied by the distance between the parallel sides. So that would be that distance, which is clearly 8 units. So put 8 there. So that's the other trapezium. You could, if you wanted to, just split it up into a rectangle and a triangle and add the two together. But as I say, it's quicker if you can remember the formula for trapezium. Okay, now we need to add 3. So the area of 3 being a rectangle is going to be the width, which is going to be 12 units, multiplied by this length, which is V units, so 12V. And as I said earlier, the sum of these areas represents the distance travelled, and that is 526. So all that's left to do is just to clean this up, solve it for V. And uh, what I noticed here is I could cancel this 2 into the 8, goes 4 times. And then all I need to do then is just multiply this out. So we have 250 here for 25 times 10. We've got 4 times the bracket, so we've got 4 25s or 100, and then plus 4V plus the 12V here equals 526. If I group together the Vs, we therefore have 16V. I can see here that I've got 350, so if I take that from both sides, 526 minus 350 is 176. And if I divide both sides by 16, I get V equals 176 over 16. And doing that on a calculator, I end up with V equaling 11. So the car was then maintaining a speed through here of 11 meters per second. Anyway, that brings us to the end of part B now.